all right all right guys welcome to another video this is day number seven in my thanksgiving menu and today i'm going to be cooking my most absolute favorite thing to cook this is called red rice some might call it gullah red rice or low country red rice but where i am in south carolina this is a staple for just about every holiday or not even the holiday we just cook at any time so these are what all i'm going to be using and I'll get into that more into the video. All right, guys. So what I had in that previous clip was some uh, parboiled rice, my Rogerwood sausage, some green bell pepper, onion, uh, black pepper, better than bouillon chicken paste, my Uncle Ben's rice, and some chicken broth. So now I'm just going to add a little vegetable oil to this. Then I'm going to come in and put in my sausage. Now, the reason that I absolutely love cooking this dish because it's similar to the African dish called jollof rice, if I pronounce that correctly. And I discovered uh, jollof rice when I was kind of teaching myself how to cook this rice. And the similarities, it just kind of blew my mind because it just makes me, whenever I cook it, it makes me feel like I'm really cooking something that my ancestors brought with them. Uh, from Africa, so that's why I just really like cooking this dish more than anything else. But I'm going to have the full story of that at a later time. So now I'm just going to come in and get my onions and bell pepper into this. And I'm just going to let these fry together until my onions and bell pepper get a little soft and my sausage gets just a little color. And then I'll move on to the next step. All right, so you can see here now that my onions and bell peppers have sweated down. Now I'm just going to come in and put my tomato paste in this. This is a 12 ounce can of Hunt's tomato paste. And I'm just going to get all of that in. And then I'm going to mix it all together and let it cook together for about two, two minutes, three minutes. Okay, so after I got all of my tomato paste in, I just want to come in and mix this all together. Which is kind of hard to do with this wooden spoon, but I'm going to stop trying to be fancy and I'm going to get rid of these wooden spoons. And get me some regular spoons. <laughs> okay, so this is how it looks after I finally got it all combined. And I just want to cook that for about two to three minutes. Then I'm going to transfer this to my baking pan. Okay, I am back. And I got my baking pan here now. And I'm just going to come in and just dump all of this mixture inside of my pan and I'm just going to kind of spread it out just a little bit all right then I'm going to come in and dump my rice into this all right so that's two cups of rice I'm going to be using four cups of rice rice total inside of this um, whenever I'm cooking for the entire family, I like to use four cups of rice because I know that's going to be enough for everyone to eat. And maybe I have a little leftover for the next day, so I'm going to get four cups of rice in here. And I just want to mix this together. All right, so this is how it should look after it's all mixed together. Now I'm going to come in and add my unsalted chicken broth. You guys know I like to be in control of my seasonings, especially uh, my salt intake. So I started using this unsalted broth now. And this is 32 ounces, which is four cups. And I'm just going to get that entire container inside of here. So that's four cups of rice and four cups of water. And that tomato paste is going to actually make up for 
some more moisture in it so you don't want to put too much water inside of this. Now normally I wouldn't use so much of this liquid but um, like I said I'm cooking this for the family and they like a more softer fluffier rice than I do. So that's why I'm just using all of that liquid. Alright so then I'm going to come in and put some black pepper inside of here. Then I'm going to come in and add some white sugar. Now you can use brown sugar. I actually prefer to use brown sugar. I think it adds another depth of flavor to it. But I'm just going to use white sugar and just get that all mixed in. Then I'm going to come in and add some of my chicken paste to it. Alright, so I'm going to get that in. And you just want to give that a good stir. Get everything well incorporated. And this is going to go in the oven. Uh, 325 for about, about an hour and 20 minutes or so. I'll be back. Alright guys, I am back. This is out of the oven. It's been out of the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. But I have been busy this weekend, guys, Saturday and Sunday, multitasking, cooking, editing, making funeral programs, and just, man. But I finally got around to giving this a mix. I normally like mixing it as soon as it comes out of the oven, but this sat for about 30 minutes or so. But I'm still just giving it a mix, just getting everything fully incorporated. And I like the way that this turned out. And I know that everyone is going to enjoy this. It was nice and fluffy, like how they like it. Alright guys, and I didn't do a taste test on this. Like I said, I was just so busy that I just wanted to get done with one thing so I can go on to the next thing. And I finally got a little break to myself at about 8 o'clock Sunday night. Alright guys. Alrighty guys, so that is the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll know when I post. And follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, Cooking and Chilling with Kenny. And until next time, guys, peace.